So this is a quick video to demonstrate the way we have the artifact repository and the media source code repository, uh, well the media version control repository set up in the project and how to create a new resources library, publish it and add a dependency on it. What you can see on the screen right now is our artifact repository, which is a system called Artifactory. And it's at deco2800.supercollaborative.org slash artifactory. And if I click over to the artifacts, uh, we can see that there's various repositories that Artifactory is serving. And one of these here is libs snapshot local. And if I open that, we can see that one of our media libraries is already published here, the vanilla one. And there's version 1.0 snapshot and various jars of this library in here. If I go across to our source code, uh, sorry, our version control repository for the media files, here it is on GitHub, deco2800-media-2014. And uh, at the moment, there's, there's not a lot in there at the moment. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone it. So let's copy the, uh, the clone URL. Let's go to a terminal and git clone the repository. This is going to pull down all of the uh, media artifacts that are in there, but there's not very many yet. If it gets too big, we'll look at splitting the repository or pr pruning the repository somehow. Okay, so now if I cd into that, deco2800 media2014, and I do an ls, we can see that there's a build.gradle, gradle properties, settings gradle, and then there's various projects. So there's the vanilla one that I've published already. And build.gradle, contains this task, uh, sorry, contains this uh, plugin Java so that it's just going to uh, build jars out of um, our, our sub projects. They're not actually going to have any Java in them. It's just going to mean that the format of our sub projects can be exactly the same as the format of our projects on the main repository. Uh, only we're just going to put things in source main resources instead of source main Java. But it's also got this uh, this upload archives, repositories, Maven deployer repository, and here's where it, um, the build system is told where to upload these repositories when we go Gradle upload archives. Let's go and make one. So I'm going to make a directory called Sketchy. This is going to be my little sub project. And I'm going to need to edit settings.gradle just to add it to the list of subprojects. And now let's go into Sketchy. And as I said, I'm going to need not source main Java, I'm going to need source main resources. Pardon me, make directory minus P to make it with subdirectories. And now if I go in source main resources, everything that's in here is going to get put in the jar on the class path. But it's probably not a good idea if I put it just in the root directory on the class path, because otherwise lots of other people will be adding jars and say, I add something called box.png and someone else adds box.png to another one. Suddenly we've got two box.pngs on the class path and it could get a little confusing. We might get the wrong one. So I'm now going to make another directory that's just called sketchy. I'm just going to give my, um, it, basically it's like a package name. And here I have an empty directory with nothing in it. Now let's go to my file system and let's go into sketchy, source, main, resources, sketchy, and let's put something in there. And so what I'm going to put is a little pencil drawing of an ice block. There it is. A little pencil drawing of, uh, well, it's actually of a Lego figure of my son's. OK. Now, let's go back up. Here we are in Sketchy here. And we'll go Gradle Upload Archive. Gradle's loading itself, it's configuring itself, it's having a look at it. 
and compile Java up to date, nothing to compile. But it's done process resources, classes, it's made sketchy.jar, upload archives, it's uploaded it now onto um, deco2800, supercollaborative.org, artifactory, lib snapshot local. So if I go back to the browser and I have a look in here and I reload the page, I should find that now, sorry, let's hit refresh properly. Let's go home, artifacts, get it to reload. I think I'm having caching issues here. There we go. Lib snapshot local, deco world, media, and now I've got sketchy here as well. And in there is a 1.0 snapshot, and that version, the, the dash snapshot at the end is important. That's the bit that tells Gradle, don't cache this jar. Uh, go and see if there's an updated snapshot each time. So that, that makes Gradle on your computer keep looking for updated snapshots. So I can change the image, push it up to Artifactory, and Gradle will pick up the new one rather than using the old one it's cached. But so there it is. So now let's see how I can add that into uh, my um, add that into my code. So let's go over to my IDE. And here's decoworld.vanilla, and this is its uh, build.gradle file uh, for decoworld.vanilla. And here there's some dependencies on decoworld.model, decoworld.gdx model, decoworld.physics model. And here's the dependency on decoworldmedia vanilla 1.0 snapshot. So now let's add in compile group decoworld.media name sketchy version 1.0 snapshot and let's save that and what I'm going to do just for this little demo I'm just going to go over to our crate and here's where the crate was loading crate.png from vanilla which was naughtily just in the the root path so here let's change this to load um, sketchy slash and uh, what was it called again it was called ice block small dot png and let's save that and now let's go to this terminal which is a white terminal just to show it's different this one is in our main source code uh, in our main project instead of in our media project and let's go gradle run client Loading, configuring, resolving some dependencies, decorwell.vanilla. And here we have our ice block is now the new sprite for the crates. So there, I very simply created a new project in the media, uh, a new sub project in the media source code repository. I, I haven't committed it yet, but I've published it up to Artifactory and I've added the dependency in the main project and it's pulling down the jar from Artifactory and fetching that image out of the jar. Now, if I was to go back to my terminal and to go back here, I've still got kind of the choice as to how much stuff do I want to check in. So if I go git status, uh, modified settings.gradle and sketchy. At the moment, because nothing's checked in, if someone else were to do a Gradle uh, upload archives, of course it wouldn't find any of my images and it couldn't possibly overwrite anything on Artifactory. But this being a course, we would like you to commit uh, various versions of your work over time so that we can see how you've been working on it and so that it's not just living on your on your computer so that it's also up in source control and we can see the change history of it so we kind of would really like this stuff to be added so I'm gonna go git add dot now git status and we've got settings.gradle and we've got sketchy main, source main resources sketchy iceblock small dot png and I'm going to commit that added sketchy with uh, 
it's all drawing. And I'll do a git pull just to get any updates from uh, GitHub. I think there has been one since I, uh, oh no, already up to date. And now I'll do a git push. On the resources, there's not really anything uh, much to test. But when I did my Gradle upload to archives, it kind of showed that I hadn't broken anything. So let's push that. And now, now if I go back to the repository here, Deco 2800 Media 2014, and I hit refresh, there's Sketchy. And that now contains source, main, resources, Sketchy, iceblocksmall.png. But something I'll need to be a little bit aware of is uh, if I was to push some art updates to Artifactory, but not commit them into the source code repository, it's possible that someone might accidentally run Gradle upload archives from the top level of this media project, in which case it's going to try and do it for every sub project. So you should see that this will go and do an upload archives on vanilla and sketchy. So there we go, uploading Deco World Media Sketchy, uploading Deco World Media Vanilla. Um, in that case, if someone else accidentally does that, they're going to over uh, well, they're going to put a newer snapshot than the one that I'd published on Artifactory. It's not actually going to overwrite the snapshot I wrote. It's just going to put a newer one, and so people will pick up this newer snapshot that might be an older version of my PNG because um, the person who uploaded it didn't have my new version because it wasn't in the, the repository. So we've got this thing that publishing is separate from uh, committing to the source code repository. Um, but every now and then, we're going to want to commit to the source code repository so that uh, other people don't overwrite our, up our updates. OK, the other thing that I should mention, you might wonder, where did decoworld.media, uh, where did 1.0 snapshot come from? Well, those came from the top level build.gradle. In here, subprojects, group equals decoworld.media, version equals 1.0 snapshot. By default, this means that for all of the subprojects, Gradle will use that as the group name, that as the version name, and the directory name as being the name of the artifact. So if I just want to publish an, a 1.0 snapshot, I don't need to do anything. If I want to change the version number, uh, then essentially I need to go into, into my subproject and I need to create a build.gradle with a different version number. So hopefully that's given a demonstration to show how you can handle your uh, media files in this project without committing them to the main source code repository and causing that to get too big for people to handle, but still making all our builds nice and simple so that we can uh, build and run the client in a single step.